Here you've got kind of a first look at my clock that I've been building. You saw it before with the escapement, escapement gear and the escapement. This, uh, this pulley right here, these, these three gears should be linked together so that this pulley turns with a weight. It turns and then it, it pushes, pushes the escapement back and forth. One mistake I made is that the, the escapement, there's kind of a hole through here, and I put this hole in here as if it was using the bottom one. So that'll have to be changed. Another, another thing that might be a bit of an issue is this, you know, what I was intending to do is have the, the pulley this uh, this gear and this attached together, so you'd pull this, and these these three gear these two gears would put, would go together, turning this, turning this, and etc. But you know I'm I'm kind of worried about this this weight being offset and pulling it down some, causing a lot of friction. So we'll we'll have to see about that. Another thing that might be an issue with the escapement pulley is you see where this pendulum is supposed to swing swings right into it. So what I, I was kind of thinking is instead of making the clock go up and down like this, it'll actually rest like this, making the escapement tick back and forth. I don't know, I'll have to experiment with it, see how it works. But this may be an issue, maybe not, we'll see. Another thing, another thing that I noticed that might be a problem is, is the gears. Now what I did, I, I took the pitch and basically just made a uh, made the gears a certain diameter, you know, static diameter depending on the, the pitch of the gears, you know, half the pitch, more or less the, uh, the width of the gear. Well, if you look in the machinery's handbook, it's got, you know, like, like 100 pages on gear design. So apparently I simplified it quite a bit. And what you end up having, what you end up with is a small gear with the teeth spaced very far apart like this one is. And then you've got a large gear with the, with the gears, the teeth, space not quite as far apart. So then you have a situation where you're turning this and as this turns, you know, you got a bit of interference there. Now the way the way it's set up, I think it'll be okay. It would be okay. See, it'll, the small gear will turn the big gear fine for the most part. But what, what causes an issue is when you have two smaller gears together. So if you take this off, this 72 tooth gear, you take the 60 tooth gear off and this other other gear. You've got these two gears together. Now the problem is, you know, it tries to turn, but then you've got it just interfering with each other. So I'm gonna have to figure out some solution to this. You either widen it, widening it, narrowing it, or maybe actually doing some actual calculations. So, you know, acting like a real engineer and doing this. So anyway, we'll see uh, see how this project evolves. Hopefully. I'll come out with a working clock eventually, but I think I've still got some work, even though it looks kind of like it would work. So just to give you an idea of how this is all put together, you've got a 60 tooth gear here being driven by a 6 tooth gear, which will be attached to this. This 60 tooth gear is also attached to the spacer to the 6 tooth gear. So once you take this off, this, uh, this driving pulley, take the 60 tooth gear off with the 6 gear attached, then what you have is this 10 tooth gear attached to the escapement driving the 60 tooth gear. So in, in theory, you'd, you know, you'd have a well, one to six gear reduction here. It's uh, not working too well right now. And then from there, you'd have this, this gear right here, the six tooth gear, turning this other 60 tooth gear. The 60 tooth gear would then turn this little gear here, the six tooth gear, and the six tooth gear would reverse everything with this little gear. Unfortunately, that's uh, because of this, this ratio right here, these gears being a little too small, I think I'm gonna have to modify it some. But that's how it would work, you know, taking some of these other gears off. Got this, got a spacer, little gears, and got that. Yeah, surprisingly, the escapement was uh, probably one of the easier things about this clock. So, you know, live and learn. We'll see what happens.